Can I, can I just weigh in on something to answer that about credibility, uh, Giovanni? This is, the, this is the last point I really want to make, but I think it's important. I think it makes our industry uncomfortable. If you want to get support from, your, from the community, you want to get support from your employees, et cetera, make your company look like Canada. I know that's a Justin Trudeau phrase, but it's a terrific one. Our companies do not look like Canada. They look like a bunch of white men. And, and it's got to change. So this is the part that's going to make us uncomfortable. And this is what I got from Samuel. I said, Samuel, what? This is a couple of months ago. What is systemic racism? What is that? And he said to me, Jeff, that is a lack of access. We don't get access to the position. We don't get opportunities. Let me take you back to what the victim Marlon told me early on because it's fundamentally important to me. He said, Jeff, you just don't get it because you don't hang around with people like me. And he said, it's okay. I married a white woman. She didn't understand black, any black racism until she married me. Now, now she gets it. But this is about systemic racism. We hire and we definitely promote the people we hang out with. So if we're surrounded in our companies by white men, then we promote white men. We don't do it consciously. We don't do it because we're racist. We do it because these are the people we know and we're comfortable with. We know their skills. And that's the systemic racism. So I consistently get from leaders in our industry, including yesterday, I'm, we're not racist. When, when we would never be racist, but I still got to give the job to the person that's most qualified. Well, guess what? If black people and if women don't get that access, if there's not some level of affirmative action to give them a push, then we don't solve the problem. And that's what I'm coming to grips in my own brain with what is systemic racism? We've got to, we've, we've got to make sure we are giving people a push. And if some white men don't get the opportunity that they might have in, in the existing status quo, too bad. We've, we've got it. So make your company look like Canada and be, as Samuel said, very intentional about making that happen. And that's going to be uncomfortable. I guarantee it.